hello everyone and welcome to the second lecture on pointers so hope you all remember what a pointer is a pointer is a variable that is used to store the address of another variable so pointers are only used to store the address of variable no other value can be stored in pointers and pointers can should be of a corresponding data type it can have integer data type character float double or anything as possible and if you declare an integer pointer it can only store the values of integer variables if you declare a float pointer it can only store the values of an float variable so a variable will have an address and a value and a pointer variable have its own address a value that is stored that is the address of some other variable and also an asterisk value the asterisk value is to point to the value that is stored in the address which is the value of that corresponding pointer so pointer will have three uh, properties address of its own a value that is stored and an asterisk value which points to the value of the address stored in that corresponding pointer variable so now let's see what a null pointer is so a null pointer a null variable is variable which does not have any value similarly a null pointer is a pointer which is not assigned any address of its own so if you assign in star p is equal to null the pointer p will be stored with a zero value so and using uh, during initialization we can store the value null to it not zero you have to assign null by using the n u l l cube you have to assign the pointer as null that is initially it is initialized to zero that is the initial process initialization to a corresponding null value so the memory address zero has a special significance that is it means that the pointer is not intended to point at any accessible memory location this null pointer we not uh, you are not am used to access at any pointer any memory location so that's why we are declaring a null pointer so by convention if a pointer contains zero value it is not assumed to point at anything so null pointer will not point at anything and it will have the value zero so consider this program so we are assigning uh, int star ptr is equal to null and we are displaying the value of ptr that is ampersand ptr so the value of ptr will be is equal to 0 so whatever value is stored there that will be equal to 0 that is the use of a null pointer it will not store any value so now next is a very important part array accessing using pointers so you can access array using pointers or array itself the name array the name of the array itself is a pointer that is we're declaring int a of 10 this a uh, the variable a itself is a pointer that is that a will store the starting location of that corresponding array that is why we are using a if you are specifying a of 0 it will give the value of that location and if you are just specifying a it will give the address of that corresponding uh, first element so if you are giving a plus 1 it will give the address of the second element or if you are giving but if you are giving a of i it will give the value in that second position so we can say that the array name itself is a pointer you don't have to declare a separate pointer for an array the array name itself is a pointer so if x is an array the address of the first element is either expressed as ampersand of x of 0 or as x so x or ampersand of x of 0 will add give the address of the first element and simple x of 0 will give the value at the corresponding location similarly ampersand of x of 1 or x plus 1 will give the address of the second element and x of 1 that is without ampersand symbol x of 1 will give the value at the second position so in general the address of the i element that is i uh, plus 1 element can be uh, expressed as ampersand x of i or simply x plus i that is if you are storing the value at the fifth position so if you want to access the value at the uh, fifth position that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so you can use that ampersand x of 5 or just simply x plus 
5 that is the use here to access the i plus 1 element can access as x plus i or ampersand x plus i so the address the variable name the array variable name itself is an address of an array and similarly since x is a pointer the name array x is a pointer if you want to get the value of x, uh, the i element i plus 1 the element you can either write as at directly x of i or star of x plus i so x plus i will give the element at x value at i -th position and star of x plus i will also give the value at the i -th position so here consider this uh, array uh, is of 5 it have 5 elements 100 200 300 400 500 so this is at a of z arr of 0 ar of 1 ar of 2 ar of 3 and ar of 4 now we are assigning star ptr is equal to ar so now we are assigning the array name to another pointer variable so here we are not using the ampersand symbol because the array name itself is an address since the array name itself is an address you don't have to use the ampersand operator here in all previous cases in all previous uh, pointer declarations pointer assignment we had used the ampersand operator but here since it is an array the array name itself is an address so you don't have to use the ampersand operator here so to access the address of the first element so ptr is an integer pointer which will hold the address of the first element that is it will have the address of arr of 0 so ampersand arr of 0 will be the value in ptr so ptr plus 1 will have the address of the second variable ptr plus 2 will have the address of second variable and so on okay so now we are assigning arr is equal to ptr so now what happens in the memory so you have an array so these are the values that is stored in the array and these are the address that is stored of that corresponding location so the starting address of ar is 1000 so since it is an integer you're using it as four bytes so 1004 the next variable so next value 1008 the next value 1012 the next value and 1016 the next value so ptr so we are assigning ptr z star ptr is equal to arr so ptr will have the value 1000 ptr plus 1 will have the value 1004 ptr plus 2 will have the value 1008 ptr 3 will have the value 1012 ptr 4 will have the value 1060 so so each uh, corresponding position so each index of corresponding memory uh, array will be assigned each of uh, index or uh, address of each value in the corresponding array will be as assigned to the corresponding position so if you are accessing ptr plus one it will get the address of the second variable if you are accessing ptr plus three it will get the address of the fourth variable so this is how the uh, pointers are uh, issued now we have to get the values so to you get the values we have to use the asterisk operator or the star operator so if we are uh, saying star ptr will get the value in the first position if you uh, say ptr plus one star of ptr plus one will get the uh, array value in the second position if you are saying star of ptr plus 3 will get the value in the fourth position okay so star is to get this asterisk operator is to get the value that is stored and the ptr is used to store the is used to access the address that is stored so since we are assigning star ptr is equal to arr so this the address of arr is passed to ptr so the ptr the just ptr variable will have the address of location of the array and star ptr or star asterisk operator will give the values in the corresponding position so if you want to get the value in the 10th position you have to use star ptr plus 10 if you want to get the address of the 10th position you have to say ptr plus 10 so now we are uh, see to program to print each array element to, uh, to uh, print the value not the address you just displaying the value so here we are displaying the uh, we are declaring an array 
uh, which has five values 100 200 300 400 500 etc so you are saying star ptr is equal to ar so now the value is already stored in the array now to display arr of percentage d is equal to percentage d i comma star of ptr of 1 so either when the value of i is equal to 0 that is you will have star of ptr plus uh, 0 that is star ptr so it was in the 0th location it is 100 so 100 is displayed so when the value of i increments you will have star ptr plus 1 so that is the next position so that is 200 then at the third position fourth position fifth position so this is how the values are stored okay so uh, the array itself the array name itself is a pointer value that is it is used to store the address of an array that is if you are saying uh, if x is an array simply x or ampersand x of 0 will give the address of the first element and x plus i uh, just x plus i or ampersand x of i will give the address of second element so you can so uh, this is how you are accessing the array values so if you give x of i x of 1 you will give the get the value in the second position so similarly this array can be uh, the uh, name of the array or the array address can be passed to a pointer variable so when you pass the array address you have to take into consideration that you don't need to pass the you cannot be you don't need to use the ampersand operator you just have to give star ptr is equal to arr because arr is the already the address of the corresponding array so ampersand arr of 0 will have the address of the first element that is ptr, PTR will have will access the first element ptr plus 1 will access the second element ptr 2 will access the third element ptr 3 will access the fourth element ptr plus 4 will access the fifth element and so on so here the ptr so ptr ptr is the first correspond to the first element ptr plus 1 is to the second element ptr plus 2 is to the third element ptr plus 3 is to the fourth element ptr plus 4 is equal to the four, fifth element so to get the values that is stored in the corresponding array you can use the asterisk operator that is about array accessing using pointers so using pointers you can access each element in an array so null pointer is a pointer which is does not store address of any value the value of that pointer is equal to zero and uh, the address of an array can be passed into pointer and each value of the array can be accessed by using pointers.